ding ding ding. All right, time for another one. What another one? Another one. Another one. yet. Yeah. All right. So I watched Kai. Who is Kai? Story. Now it's time to watch Speed. Speed. I don't be watching him on daily, but when he's out and he's at different countries that I want to go to, I'm watching it. Like I love, I love those IRLs in the different countries and stuff. I got to see Vietnam, a little bit of Thailand. What else? Where else did he go that I really liked? I don't know. Oh, Korea. Uh huh. I really like the Korea one, but what he did to Amy was crazy, bro. Not gonna lie. Amy seems so sweet, but you know we don't know too much. You know what goes on around. You know goes on around. Like, why can I not say it? Goes on behind the cameras, all right. But from what I saw, it was just like, wow, why, why would you do that? But we gonna pass, pass, pass. You know he's a, you know he's speed. I don't know. All right, let's get it. Here we go. The untold story of Aisho Speed. This is this Aisho man, Speed yo, streaming to no, 300,000 live viewers while watching the World Cup. If we rewind just a year ago, he was streaming oh. to zero people in his mom's basement. How did this 17-year-old become the biggest streamer in the world? Hold on, yo. This is the untold story of Aisho Speed. Okay. Got my ice cream this time. For this I don't want to change the settings. I mean the title. I, I, I guess I gotta get on my phone. Speed hit the go live button for the first it's time fine. on December 27th, 2018. With a dream, Melted no a camera, bit. and in 720p, Speed Dang. entered the content creator world Speed? playing Fortnite. As he continued to stream, Wait, he became back? more and more comfortable. I'm distracted. Speed Relax. December 27th, two December 27th 20, uh, 2018. Are right, you Speed hit the go live button for the first time on December 27th, 2018. So that was dream, before Kai, no right? Camera, but on YouTube. 720p, Speed entered the content creator world playing Fortnite. As he continued mm. to stream, he became more and more comfortable playing in front of an audience. He even ended up adding a face cam to his streams. The stream was still as low production quality as it could get, with the game audio Aww. being picked up by his own speakers, so it sounded like you were listening to the stream in a submarine. Not in a submarine. Hold on. It was clear that Speed, like every other aspiring streamer, was oh, trying shoot. to steadily make improvements to his... Oh, as shoot. time went on, it became My more and more obvious now. to everyone that Speed wasn't just... My bad, now learn it. Hear that speed, like every other aspiring streamer, was trying to steadily make improvements to his streams, but as time went on, it became more and more obvious to what everyone he, 14, that speed 15? wasn't just another aspiring streamer, but something extraordinary. So that's why he started doing that? Most people think speed blew up overnight, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Speed's success was hard fought, constantly changing up his approach, and more calculated than you could ever imagine. Speed's approach to streaming started out similar to what any of us would do. He streamed what he enjoyed, but grappled with the balance of streaming what his viewers wanted versus what he truly wanted to do. Over time, Speed got tired of that? playing Fortnite and decided to switch to NBA 2K. Okay. Streaming 2K every day for months, he was able to consistently get around 10 viewers tuning into his streams. Even with a small audience, Speed grew interested in hmm. making content that those 10 people would really enjoy and want to come back for. Speed noticed that a particular behavior would spark excitement from his viewers. An A ball. This shit don't never let me get a contest for all right, bro. When he was raging, there was a more active chat, and viewers stayed longer. That so rage his of his. Became mainly based around what his viewers hey, wanted. Hey, sneaks fact, hard though. Speed's small community loved his raging so much that they would timestamp where in the stream he raged, allowing head. others to easily access the funniest parts quickly. This eventually was caught that? Speed's eye, and thus led to him not only streaming, but also posting rage compilation videos. These were the first videos on his channel, which got noticed. Look at his videos. face! Uh, rage compilations, oh, is that, that's on a repeat? And at wagers. Content which Hello? involves betting money against your opponent on the outcome of the game. This, of course, makes any game automatically more interesting, which leads to viewers staying longer. 
In one video, he appears did all to this. be scammed by one of his wager opponents, but That's his reaction was worth a lot more money than he could have ever earned in that wager. I don't trust that shit, bro. Furthering into the NBA scene, Speed wanted to differentiate himself amongst other streamers by choosing a position that very few streamers would choose. Although being a post scorer was inherently less exciting, Speed knew his personality could make up for the less exciting gameplay, and he might find a totally new audience. As other well-known NBA streamers progressively left the scene, wow, Speed they really all grew up together. Huh? His brand as a post scorer, most big streamers really all the top streamers right now are just entertaining. Speed had both. We're streaming together. You right beside that. Speed had been able to stream to an average of 400 viewers a day. Little did he know, a day was coming that would double his viewers. January 30th, 2021. 2021! 2K 1v1 tournament. Streaming competitively in any game has huge potential. If you make it far into any tournament, it is likely that other competitors will watch the tournament live, either when they are knocked out or are waiting for their next game. This, in turn, could bring in more viewers to your oh, stream. What the heck? Speed didn't end up winning this tournament, but he had a reaction like this, so was it really a loss? Uh, I'll never play a card again! I'll never play a card again! So Speed retained a thousand viewers all stream long. But if someone gets that viewership, it doesn't mean they've gone viral, it means they have potential. And Speed took that potential, ran with it, and never looked back. Shut up! Shut up! We went from a thousand twenty-seven. Thousand. Speed didn't want to just be a two K streamer. He knew that wasn't his sole purpose. He wanted more. His way to achieve that: making videos answering very personal questions that most people will stay to listen to. Although the viewers did not roll in right away, in fact, they were less than what he was getting from two K. Luckily for Speed, he didn't care about the short term and kept doing these Q&As. Have I ever done stuff with a female, bro? The answer to that question is yes, bro. I mean, bro, like, I don't know. Why I think of my eyes, I'm like, just a little, bro, yes. His loyal audience expanded and his confidence grew. Whether it was in real life content or streaming a new game, viewers came and stayed for his personality. As soon as he was gaining more momentum, something very scary happened to Speed. Speak his hat. Discoverability allows for a stream like this to pop off. They have my account. It may only start with a few thousand viewers, but everyone's interested in someone getting their account hacked. How did it happen? Can they get it back? How do I prevent this from happening to me? These are just a few questions that might pop into your head, so people click on the stream. Compare right. this to Twitch, where this exact stream would just sit in the 2K category and never go beyond it. Speed eventually does get his account back, and he ends the stream with a speech that connects him to new and old viewers of his channel. We're back! I show speed! YT dash I show speed! When Speed got close to 400,000 subscribers, he decided to stream his sub growth. With the power being in the viewers' hands, now they realize they can get speed to rage by unsubbing right in front of his eyes. <laughs> wow. The time is here! <clears throat> Are y'all ready? But why is y'all unsubbing like damn? If you watch this clip again, you will see that Speed's initial reaction is actually a smile, thinking it's funny that people are doing this. And then he remembers his persona. And well, after playing 2K, Speed began streaming himself playing a variety of games in which he could show off his rage, and the best bet was to try his luck at horror games. These games would produce clips in which Speed would get scared and then start barking loudly. These clips then went viral and brought in another new audience. So this is when the bark starts. 600, 700, 800,000, 900,000. Horror games, huh? Million. But this would be just the beginning of Speed's rise to fame. When speed goes viral, those clips don't One just mil. pop on YouTube. They are resurfaced to every social media platform you can imagine. However, only one in particular mattered. The app that could get cancelled tomorrow, but that without explanation has the most capability to skyrocket someone to fame. TikTok. TikTok oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. started to pop up on just about everyone's feed that expressed interest in the streaming Bro. world. At this point, without realizing, speed had created a very sustainable ecosystem Dang. for him to grow. Clips of him would go viral on TikTok, motivating more of his viewers to post them, and thus spreading Speed's name to people who have never Let's watched see. his videos <laughs> before. Speed was seeing all the good that can come with becoming a fast-growing internet personality, 
but he was about to experience all the bad that came with it too. Help, how do I take my IP? I cannot stream whoever is booting me. Please stop. Hit me up on Twitter ID. We can figure something out. I need y'all help. I'm not going to lie. Whoever keep booting me, I'm going to get the cops involved. At the start of July 2021, Speed had accidentally leaked his IP on stream, and this would cause a bunch of trolls and hackers to boot off his internet whenever they felt like it. Oh, no. Wow. What the fuck? Nigga just my shit. Speed made multiple shorts talking about how he might quit streaming because of this. But thankfully, after nearly two months of randomly being booted off stream, Speed finally had a new IP. While he was dealing with all of this, Speed's career was about to take off once again as one of his viral clips went to the right person's phone. Aiden, Aiden Ross was the most popular 2K streamer and one of those mm. who left the game when it started. I thought it was Duke. Off. Aiden, no, being kidding. impressed with Speed's growth, invited him to LA and this, you could say, was Speed's biggest breakthrough. He was starting to enter the inner circle, and at this point, if he would play his cards right here, then the rest would be very easy. There was something holding Dang, Speed back Speed looking point. a little bit there. <laughs> See, Speed was only 16 at the time, which meant he was a minor, so he had to ask permission from his parents, most notably it being his mom, if he was allowed to go to L.A., There have been many moments during wow. Speed's own stream where the viewers can see his mom get annoyed or angry at Speed, causing the chat to spam L mom. Dismissing his mom's advice, Speed went to LA anyway, and after returning, he must have had a very enlightening conversation because his content changed. He started to invite girls on stream, and whether he was pretending to be interested in them or not, it became like a reality dating show and kept viewers watching to find out if they would actually start dating. Another aspect that changed drastically was Speed's involvement in music. On the 23rd of September, Why was she grabbing him so aggressively? He was watching to find out if they would actually start dating. Oh, she Another smacked him. Another aspect that changed drastically Sometimes was Speed's involvement smacked. in okay. music. On the 23rd of September, Speed would go on to drop his first music video, Bounce That Ass, and then would go on to drop many, many Stupid more that bum most bum notably became Shake. These songs would go on to do millions of streams and bring the creator's name to so many more people, especially shake, on TikTok shake, where these shake, songs shake, were used bro. in many posts. That's, that, that's a song, right? ends up getting Bluestacks, which is a phone emulator on your computer, which basically allows you to use a phone on a PC. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I know that, that one. It's pretty much a magic eight ball, but with a talking cartoon. You ask a question and it responds. Dog. Except he would ask very hard-hitting questions, ben. always with an expectation. If Talking Ben didn't meet Speed's expectation, well, what do you think happened? He raged. Ben, ben do you support Black Lives Matter? Mm. Yes. Do you support LGBTQ? Wow. Ben, Speed continued to ask Ben questions. Other one off too. And well, try not laughing at this. Come on, my. Come here like that. Yo, Ben, you want to see my ass? No. You want to see my ass shake? Yes. Yo, what? Like no. <laughs> but Speed ends up having a falling out with Ben after this incident. Ben, do you not get it? You are a fat piece of f***. Do it right. No. Yes. Nobody loves you. Yes. Nobody will never care about you. Uh. Speed is better than you. Yes. Ah! Speed was hit with okay? two waves of heavy controversy, the first of which being from Twitch. The streamer was on an e-date hosted by Aiden Ross, and when it was his chance to speak to the girl, Speed did this. Would you, um, reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine, and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? I will. Who's gonna stop no, me? No, Speed, relax. I will. If we the last two people on earth, who gon' stop me? She is. You're not stopping me! Did Speed go too far with this joke? Well, Twitch certainly thought so, because they banned the streamer from streaming on their platform indefinitely. This, however, wasn't the only controversy Speed was going to be involved in. On April 6th, Jake Lucky, the famous esports reporter, tweeted a clip that showed Speed being very toxic and misogynistic towards a female inside the game, Valorant. Damn, bro, shut up, bro. I know how to play this game. I'm not a noob, all right? God, I'm you! Like a fucking dude. What? What, bitch? Bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? 
Am I no, 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 no. Am I tripping? Am I tripping on highway? Time out. It's a female talking to me right now. It's a fucking female talking to me. Get off the fucking game and do your work with dishes, bitch. Shut up. This tweet led to Riot Games banning do not want players play any of their titles on stream. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This is a huge yikes, and we do not want players like this in our community at all. I went ahead and perma. Oh, perma. Oh. The younger generation, and they're freaking short, like, shortcuts in these words and stuff. What, how do you say it? I don't even know, guy. Um, perma band. <laughs> this player from Valorant. As well as all the other Riot games, thanks for raising this. Please keep raising stuff like this and recording so we can have make Val safer. Val, that's what they were playing like, like Fortnite. But I don't know, Speed be doing too much with that, bro. He need to maybe one day he'll like just calm down with all that because sometimes he be taking it way too far. Like, why are you calling somebody a bit? Like, that's crazy. Oh shoot. Come on, come on, play! Led to Riot Games banning Speed from playing any of their titles on stream. Speed then put out an apology starting off with the fact that he wasn't in the best mindset when that was clipped, and he had people making fun of his dead aunt through donations all day. Speed on but to crazy no cap. <laughs> Though this was a negative part of his streaming career that still affects what him they today, saying about his it's crucial to him growing as a person and understanding what type of influence he has. At this point, Speed's now streaming to tens of thousands of people consistently, but it doesn't explain how he's able to get 300,000 people concurrently to watch him at the World Cup. This donation right here, this is the beginning of that explanation. What soccer football team do you support? Crystal Ronaldo! Suey! Simple as that, bro. One donation, or $1.79, puts Speed on a path to a meme that would be celebrated throughout the entire content world. His obsession with Cristiano Ronaldo and his newfound journey yeah. to meeting him in person. Speed started checking his Reddit more often, where his fans would try to convince him that Messi is better than Ronaldo, to which Speed never entertained. Speed's love for Ronaldo became so viral that Ronaldo's own son, Ronaldo Jr., called Speed on stream. Show your face, y'all, so I can see this actually. <laughs> With his streams now getting to 100,000 live concurrent viewers, Speed was growing at an unprecedented rate. Speed had multiple real-life footballers know who he is. Speed wanted to make sure Wait, everyone knew Morris? about his love for Cristiano Ronaldo. He went as far as making a song about shoes, bro. At this point in his career, Speed was breaking records and gaining subscribers at the fastest rate imaginable. The boost That's from crazy. his new football fan base definitely helped him do this. Speed was fast approaching the milestone of 10 million subscribers, but Speed made a mistake. In mid-July 2021, he streamed himself playing the Jenny mod on Minecraft. This mod, well, added sex to Minecraft. And Speed, without knowing this, would effectively show Minecraft porn to 100,000 viewers. What is Speed going on? What am I watching? Heavy channel strike in which he responded by saying, Peace out, y'all. Goodbye. You know? Your vest is on backwards. They gave me a strike. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Why is this vest on backwards, bro? My little cousins do that, bro. Like, they've been doing that since they were like six, seven. <laughs> They're now like 13, 14, bro. He told his audience he was quitting and won't be able to ever stream again. But this wasn't the case as we all know it. Speed eventually what had the strike ban lifted after a week and hit 10 million subscribers. Now, with an ever-growing fan base and his name being the biggest it ever has, you are likely to come by people who think they can copy Speed. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but this is just weird. During this time, we saw a content creator that goes by the name White Boy M, who accurately copied Speed's entire mannerisms and how he talks, but of course everyone could tell what he was doing, and this spiraled into its own meme. August 9th, 2022, Speed would be swatted live on his own stream. The act of swatting is a malicious attempt by internet trolls to call police to someone's address. This is a very dangerous and illegal action, and in the past, swatting has even led to death. Just a year ago, during the month wait, wait, of wait. August, last what is it? trolls to call police to 
someone's address. Wait, what? Active since 2022, speed would be swatted live. I did see, like, um, I don't know what it was, but it was like, oh, Kai reacts to speed getting arrested, and I was like, okay. <laughs> the act of swat. Okay, the action. Oh my gosh. The action of pr or practice of making a host call to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They say that. Because I, I think I called the um, cops too when I was like younger. But it was like for a second. Like I called them because <sighs> I live in a Caribbean heist household. So like they are loud and crazy and you know, do crazy things. But I called on my uncle. And, because he thought I wasn't going to do it. I was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go home with comps, okay? So I called them, and then I hung up. Then they called me back. And then, I think my mom answered or something, or I put it on speaker. And they were like, okay, well, you can't be calling unless it's an emergency. Blah, 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 blah. So they'd be like, you know, bro. It's attacked by internet what? trolls to call police to someone's address. This is a very dangerous and illegal action. And in the past, why, you, why would he even do that, though? Death. Just a year ago, during the months of July and August, where Speed experienced his internet being booted, he was once again being targeted by toxic trolls online. I'm not that yeah. oh, Okay. What's going on? That's what that is. Y'all know what's going on? Just yeah, slips. Yeah, I remember boy Hayden last night. Okay. So, this is one of those silly things with people. Yeah. Speed's name was getting bigger and bigger to the point where the biggest content creator group in the UK, the Sidemen, invited Speed to be featured in their charity football match. That's crazy. This was an incredibly big deal for Speed, and on a pitch filled with some of the biggest names around, like Mr. Beast and KSI, one man stole the show. And that man was Speed. He was by far the most entertaining and memorable part of the event that currently sits at 15 million views. Following the charity match, Speed made friends with Chunks, another very popular UK-based creator. This would lead into Speed meeting Lil Nas X at Chunks' house. Speed gained a very important connection because of this trip to the UK. One of the most notable being Mr. Beast. Soon after, I Speed was featured in Mr. Then. Beast's video, Last to Take Hand Off, Jet keeps it. After leaving the UK, Speed would drop one of his most popular songs to date, World Cup. Speed would return to the UK, but with a singular goal in mind, to meet his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo. Sadly, Speed would attend two matches during this time in the UK, and both times Ronaldo wasn't selected to be there. During this time, Speed was invited by Sky Sports, the biggest sports network in the UK, to be on their show before the match. Unfortunately, Speed's past controversies caught up with him. The sports network saw the tweet of Speed yelling misogynistic things in a Valorant game, and they mm. announced all content, including Speed, was to be taken down on their channel immediately. While mm. Speed was more upset over not being able to meet his idol Ronaldo in person, he would not stop there. Before See? leaving the UK in early November, Speed would do one more stream in which he met Ronaldo. The fake Ronaldo. I saw... Oh. <laughs> Ronaldo! Yo, bro. How did I do this, bro? Oh, we got you. We got you. We got you. We, we, we put in some strings. Like, this is like... No, like, that's badass Ronaldo. <laughs> he d he didn't know. <laughs> You're making him shy, sweet. Yeah. The entire stream felt really weird to his viewers. Seeing this stream was sponsored by Paradox, a crypto company, and they were promoting their crypto game all throughout this stream, even making the fake Ronaldo promote it. The worst part of all this was the fact that Speed left his mic on when he was told to mute it by the company people. Many fans did theorize Speed could have left it unmuted on purpose to let his fans know that it was a scam. This caught the eyes of everyone, even a popular YouTuber Speed by probably the name didn't. of Sounds like Speed. who actively exposes these crypto creator scams. This event did affect Speed as he was constantly called I Show Scam by his viewers. It made him pretty upset and even went as far as to threaten to quit streaming for the three millionth time. During the World Cup in Three Qatar, Speed went live randomly to show that he was in fact in the country. He had a lot of people coming up to him and Speed was there for one reason, to see his idol win the World Cup <clears throat> over Messi. Speed would go live during World Cup games and bring an audience of over 200,000 people. In his first live stream, Speed would go live during the Portugal vs Switzerland round of 16 game, but as he streamed, Speed learned a sad truth. 
the person he came all the way around the world for would not be starting. Where's my medal on the ladder, bro? No, bro! No! But in the 73rd minute, Speed's dreams came true, as he witnessed Ronaldo be subbed onto the game, and this would be the first time Speed saw Ronaldo in the flesh. Speed would go live one more time. Okay, I saw I saw this team, on Twitter, y'all. I saw started. his little clips of him meeting struck, Ronaldo. And Speed watched his idol Ronaldo be knocked out of the tournament. Many of Speed's fans <clears> all thought the streamer would leave Qatar as the reason he was there didn't matter anymore. Ronaldo was eliminated. But Speed was going to stay for the entire tournament in the hopes that Messi would Why does win. he say he's, Speed he's would go Portugal? Live a final time a Portuguese. The final That's what I want to know. Versus France. And this time... Speed would bring a total of 300,000 concurrent viewers to his channel. Speed started the stream wearing Ronaldo's jersey, and he was pretty Ronaldo. excited when Argentina started to take the lead. But as France Messi. made their comeback, Speed changed his jersey to France. Unfortunately for Speed, Messi's Argentina won the World Cup, in which Speed you very smacked that guy in the back, bro. Been wearing an Argentina shirt underneath the France one. He didn't keep it on for long, though. <laughs> This event ended Wait, turn in just around? two years. The boy who went from 5 to 10 viewers on 2K was at the biggest sporting event in the world, streaming to 300,000 people. I don't know what is next in store for Speed, but whatever it is, I'm sure he'll make it entertaining. See how old this is. Guys, it's neat. <laughs> Gotta see how old this is. A year ago. No wonder. Well, that's it, guys. Shift. Speed. That's all. That's all. Really, I have to say. Speed. Peace out, baby.